Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. I'm a little bit rusty on my filming. It has been over two weeks since I filmed any videos. I just got back from my trip. And you can probably still hear it in my voice. It is a little bit scratchy. I had a bit of a cough. I'm still recovering from it. But I did want to get some videos up for you because I have a couple of boxes that I even received before I left on my trip and of course I have a lot more to share with you that arrived while I was gone. The first one that I want to start with today though is the travel treasure box. Now you guys know that I love sharing travel subscriptions. This is a quarterly subscription. It is really more of a travel subscription than a destination focused one. So you're going to get all kinds of inspiration for different kinds of vacations and trips to explore the world as well as some travel accessories and tools and gadgets. It is $79.95 per box plus shipping and I believe the shipping varies depending on the contents between eight and ten dollars so this one is pretty hefty so I'm guessing it's kind of on the higher end for shipping but if you use the code Noel you can save 10% and as always I will leave all of that information for you in the description box below this was kindly sent to me for review by the amazing Char so let's go ahead and get into it like I said this is one of the boxes that arrived right before I left on my trip so I didn't have a chance to film it for you in advance but I am very excited to see this is their second box. I thought she did a great job with her debut box, so we're going to see what is in this one. So it says inside, thank you for your support. We're so grateful and excited to welcome you to our community, the Travel Treasure Box. And we've got some beautiful blue tissue paper here. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what uh, travel treasures await for us inside. So this is nice and appropriate. It is the Winter Escape Box. Let me go ahead and show you right here. There's a nice little brochure on top. So this is a little bit different already. It's a little upgrade already from the first box that we received. It had like full 8.5 by 11 sheets, which I was thinking it'd be a little bit nicer to have something in a smaller format so it would be easier to save for your future travel again. So I love that she made it a little bit more like a booklet this time. So that's already something that's looking great to me. So it says, hello and happy new year. I hope you had a happy and healthy holiday season. It's hard to believe that January is almost over. Well, now February is almost over. It says, where did the time go? I feel like I just took down my holiday decorations. February and March can be long, cold months if you live in an area where the temperatures drop below freezing many days. Luckily, that is not the case for me. It says, our January box is all about experiencing that winter escape from inside your own home, kind of a staycation of sorts. So I like that it's a kind of trip that's the inspiration for this box this time around. It says, I've also included some popular warmer destinations to inspire you if you're considering taking a winter vacation. Enjoy your winter escape. So I love that. So it says here on this uh, image, it says, hello friend, I'm pretending to be here. Now I could probably drive about 20 minutes and actually be doing that. So it's a little bit gloomy outside today, but yesterday it was really lovely. The weather has been great since we've gotten back. The weather on my trip in Egypt was kind of both. We got a little bit of cold, even a little bit of rain, and then some beautiful sunny days. So I will be sharing more about that trip with you guys in my live stream on the 8th of March hopefully. Let's see what else it says. So staycation is calling seven ways to feel like you're on vacation at home or close to home anytime. Let me know in the comments below if you are someone that likes to go on staycations, maybe just a little Airbnb that is in your own town but just kind of change the scenery. I think it is really a nice way to reset without spending a lot of money or getting on a plane. Um, so it's got our seven um, ways to feel like you're on a vacation which is get outdoors host a game night that always sounds fun to me but like i never actually go through with it, it says host a cooking party take a day road trip that's one of my favorite things to do for sure there's a lot of good day trips that you can take from where i am here in san diego plan a spa day Read a great book. That is a fantastic way to do a nice staycation with, of course, some snacks and some tea. And then, of course, a hotel staycation is a nice option. Then she's got seven U.S. winter escapes to cure those winter blues. And she has suggestions for places to go. And number one on the list, everyone, is San Diego or La Jolla, California. So I will second that. I think that is a great suggestion. We also have Florida, Charleston, South Carolina, 
Phoenix, Scottsdale, and Sedona, Arizona, all great cities in a great state. Hawaii, my home state, the reason that my channel is called Hi Noel. New Orleans, Louisiana, and Savannah, Georgia. So I've been all of those places except for Savannah that is definitely on my travel list. We've got a Beach Vibes word search that looks fun. And then of course we have some information with a QR code. So QR codes are big, love this. Let's see if this actually tells us about the products. I was wondering if their products were listed. It is, I just kind of happily skipped that page. So there is two pages here that tell us what is in the box. It says the winter months are a little bit colder and a little bit darker, so it's easy to catch those winter blues. That is why our January box is themed Winter Escape. This box has been curated to create a beach experience that you can enjoy from the comfort of your home. So a couple of travel boxes had the same same idea and I think it is a great one and one that we can all appreciate and luckily like I said I do kind of live in a destination uh, location so I can definitely use these items year-round so now that I got that booklet out of the way I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of all the items that are in here it looks like it's pretty packed I'm excited so let's go ahead and start with the first one which you guys know I'm gonna love because it is indeed a candle so it is a salt and sea candle it's all wrapped up in this nice uh, foam so let's go ahead and open it up there's some shred in here too just enough to make me feel like I'm back to work here on the unboxings kind of get my office a little messy all right this is from Sweetwater Decor which is a great brand that we do see in a lot of boxes so this is a pretty big one you guys so nice big jar candle it says this hand poured soy wax candle smells like the sea and reminds us of a perfect ocean breeze so she doesn't have the retail values in here but just glancing you guys at the items that are in here it looks like we've got seven items this time around it does seem like you're definitely getting your money worth so let me give this one a smell anything that smells like sea salt or the beach even though it doesn't actually smell like the beach because sometimes I think there's some other stuff going on at the beach like barbecues and what have you but mm, it's got that fresh lovely vibe that I think is just so great year-round so I, I like that that's not something that's necessarily seasonal, like it doesn't feel like really floral, it doesn't necessarily feel very holiday where you get those like warmer spicy scents. So I'm super into that, of course, because it's a candle and you guys know I love my candles. The next thing that we got, which totally goes with the idea of having a staycation, if you're not able to actually go to one of those seven places on the list that has a great beach, is also wrapped up in foam. And I think you guys can probably guess what it is. So it does have the nice business card for from the business inside, which I appreciate that she's working with some smaller businesses. It's from Karma Crafters Studio, I believe. And it is a large tea or coffee mug. It says on it, ocean air and salty hair. Fill this 15 ounce mug with your favorite beverage and let it help you escape to the sandy beaches where your heart desires to be. So nice and simple in script. Now you guys know I'm not a big script person, but when it comes to mugs and if it keeps it nice and simple like this, I can, I can definitely be on board. So very appropriate, of course, for living here in San Diego. And I think it would be kind of just funny and ironic if you were uh, sipping on your nice warm beverage in the middle of the snow too so it's kind of wishful thinking right if you do happen to be in one of those winterier destinations and then to go along with that of course we do have some tea, which I think this is such a cool brand. It's from Tea Forte. We've got a raspberry nectar iced herbal tea. Love that. And they always have these little like wire holders with the leaf so that you can kind of pull the pyramid back out. I just think it looks really elegant, as elegant as a tea bag can look. So we got this one. And then we also got this Tea Forte. Uh, ooh, blueberry Merlot. How cool. So it's just a nice wet mesh wire pyramid inside. If you haven't seen this brand before, it's very elegant. So it says, these, there are samples of both cold and hot herbal teas in your box. I hope you enjoy them. Enjoy a cup while reading your spoiler book because she included a book for us for our staycation. It says, I've also included a snack and hot chocolate bomb for you to enjoy, which is not pictured. So wow, we got a bunch of stuff which is not uh, pictured there. So actually we got more than the seven items. I was just going by the pictures. So here is our, wow, this looks really good, you guys. Salted caramel hot chocolate bomb. It's got like gold foil on it. Um, it's a little bit late in the season for me here to have a hot chocolate bomb, but you know, at night when it's like I'm craving something sweet and I don't have any like dessert, a hot chocolate bomb is the way to go. And I do still have some hot chocolate lasting a little bit over the holidays. So love that she gave us 
both tea and the hot chocolate. And there's also a snack in here. I'm wondering where that is. Ooh, wow. Oh, and I found another one. This one sounds like it's going to be my favorite, you guys. It's a tea forte kiwi lime ginger. So we got the one, the cold brew one, and then we got these two for the hot beverages. So we got three different ones. That's awesome. And then we also got our snack from Utopia Snacks, bananas for chocolate. It's gluten-free. It says dark chocolate, sunflower seeds, organic banana chips, and a cocoa espresso cookie puffs. So it's like a little snack mix. That sounds amazing with your tea or your hot chocolate and the book in the mug with the candle burning. She's definitely setting us up for an awesome staycation. I really love this so far. This, this is a really good box. I think that she did a great job with this. So the book that she included, now I'm always a little iffy when a book is included in a subscription box just because there are already book subscriptions that are out there and you kind of run the risk sometimes, I think, of sending somebody a book that they may have already read or that they already have a copy of. Of course, books are very regiftable. Now this is one that I have received in another subscription box, but it was kind of fun. So, and it is very appropriate for the theme. It's by Emily Henry. It's People We Meet on Vegas. Vacation. So fun beach read, like almost literally. So it says Poppy and Alex, Alex and Poppy, they have nothing in common. She's a wild child and he wears khakis. She has an insatiable wanderlust and he prefers to stay home with a book. And somehow ever since a fateful car share home from college many years ago, they're the very best of friends. For most of the year, they live far apart. She's in New York City and he's in their small hometown. But for every summer for a decade, they've taken one glorious week of vacation together until two years ago, when they ruined everything and they haven't spoken since. Poppy has everything she should want, but she's stuck in a rut. When someone asks when she was last truly happy, she knows without a doubt that it was on that ill-fated final trip with Alex. And so she decides to convince her best friend to take one more vacation together, lay everything on the table, make it all right, and miraculously, he agrees. Now she has a week to fix everything. If only she can get around the one big truth that's always stood quietly in the middle of their seemingly perfect relationship. What could possibly go wrong? So gotta love that. You can to so totally imagine the romantic comedy that comes out of this book. So it's definitely a good escape, um, especially if it is kind of cold and you can't get on that plane to that beach vacation. All right, what else have we got in here? We have a woodblock decor. Now, not my kind of home decor, you guys know that, but it is very small. I love how simple it is. I love this color. It's very pretty. So it says, all you need is love and a sunset so that kind of goes with the book for sure it's hollow on the back side so you could actually like hang it if you wanted to so it just kind of sticks out from the wall but it's also really good to just sit on a shelf so it says all you need is love and a sunset this woodblock sign is the perfect piece of decor to complement the other items in the box the sign goes well with the sea glass decorative bottle and the sea and salt and sea candle together they create that beach experience so got a little bit of a spoiler there but let's go ahead and take a look at our sea glass home decor that she included which i'm assuming is all wrapped up in here so we got two home decor things we'll of course go through everything at the end so this is really pretty it says this authentic sea glass from florida beaches is the perfect home decor addition and will keep you thinking of the beach place with the wood sign and candle for that beachy themed decor. So it's just super simple. You could obviously repurpose this jar for something else if you wanted to. If you wanted to like keep some sand from that vacation when you finally get around to it. But it is some really pretty sea glass. You can see there's both the blue and the kind of more minty color green. You guys know I love sea glass. I collect it. I get it in a lot of other beach boxes. So this is a really kind of cool way to display it for sure. And it would look very pretty flickering next to your candle. So that's a great idea. Yeah, she actually has it pictured with some like darker blue so I might like switch it out you could put some little shells in there too some little white shells or even some teeny tiny fairy lights if you had a small strand or like a single tea light would be really pretty and then finally the last thing that we have to open up which is I kind of saved the best for last because you guys know that in addition to candles I do love me a nice accessory and we got some beautiful sea glass earrings and I think they also has it does have a little Okay, it came with a little um, card that says it's from Cadazzle Jewelry Company, and they're an Etsy if you want to check it out. It's these really pretty little dangly uh, sea glass earrings. Let me see if I can get them to spin around there. So there you go, you guys. Aren't those pretty? It's that really faint green. I love how they're stacked. That's how you often see them stacked on the beach when people like to stack their rocks or stack their sea glass. So it says these earrings are all about summer. I love the color, and they hang nicely. They're hypoallergenic 
allergenic with a silver ear wire with silver ear wire hooks. They're great for those sensitive ears. They are nickel, lead, and allergy free. I know some of you have even more sensitive ears. You have to be really careful, but I think these will work for most people. And they're a really nice kind of in-between length because you guys know that I love my big dangly earrings. So these do have a little bit of dangle, but they're not super overwhelming. So I feel like even people who don't like to wear very big earrings could definitely get away with this, but they're just so pretty and they're gonna catch the light really nicely and still have a little bit of movement. So I have to say I'm really impressed with this sort of beach or staycation with the beach in mind themed box that she's put together for her second her second quarter. So let's just go over everything one more time. We got the salt and sea candle. I keep wanting to say sea and salt. Um, it smells divine. It's so nice. We got our coffee or tea or hot cocoa cup that says ocean air and salty hair very simple but definitely very usable we got our people we meet on vacation book which again if you haven't read it definitely check it out this will probably go in a giveaway because i have read the book already i already have a copy of it we got a couple of home decor items are all you need is love and a sunset which i let me know in the comments below if you agree with that and this pretty little bottle of sea glass so i think that's really nice this i'll probably put out somewhere this i don't know just because it's something that i think i'll share with someone else who has kind of a more beachy decor in their home. We got our beautiful stacked sea glass dangle earrings, probably my favorite item. I'll definitely be wearing these. And then of course we got all of those things to make the whole experience a little bit more fun. We got our three tea samples from Tea Forte, really beautiful flavors it sounds like, as well as our hot chocolate bomb and that really good sounding snack mix. So I love everything that she put together. I love that she kind of included those little extras, those little goodies for us. So you're definitely getting your money's worth in this box. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite thing to do for a staycation is or your favorite beach destination. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for bearing with my voice. Hopefully it's back to normal in a couple of days and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.